Hello everyone, Max here with Fiction Rant to bring you a sort of matchup lightning round. This is inspired by the channel Generation Tech, where they pitted the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars against the Defiant from Star Trek. In their video, they concluded that the Falcon would ultimately be defeated, but not before inflicting heavy damage upon the Defiant courtesy of its concussion missiles, like those used in Return of the Jedi to destroy the core of the second Death Star. In short, they're just wrong. But let's break things down into my usual categories of speed, weapons, defenses, numbers, unique advantages, and tactics before giving a conclusion on who wins in a matchup. This is more of a lightning round, so I won't be going into my usual level of detail. Speed. Clearly the hyperdrives from Star Wars are far faster than all but the most extreme forms of warp drive, so the Falcon wins at FTL, and at sub light speeds the Falcon is quick and nimble, almost on the level of a fighter, but not quite, so the Falcon wins very handily in this category as well. Weapons. The Falcon has a pair of quad laser cannon turrets and a pair of front-facing concussion missile launchers. The Defiant has a standard phaser array as well as photon and quantum torpedo launchers and pulse phaser cannons which can only fire forward but do a ton of damage if it managed to land a hit. The Defiant clearly outguns the Falcon. Defenses. The Falcon has survived punching way above its own weight class against squads of TIE fighters and even multiple Star Destroyers and even survived a run-in with the Super Star Destroyer Executor at the end of Empire Strikes Back. Meanwhile, the Defiant gets talked about as being a tough little ship all the time, but that didn't stop the first Defiant from getting blown up at the second battle of Chintaka after being totally disabled by a Breen EMP weapon, so in terms of survivability feats, I actually have to give the one to the Falcon. Numbers. Both are one ship, so this one's a wash. Unique advantages. The Falcon is relatively basic, but it does have sneaky places to hide things on board and can even perform hyperspace skipping maneuvers to evade enemies when outmatched. These skips are totally untraceable without cutting edge first order technology and can apparently even circumvent one of the big dangers of hyperspace travel in that the Falcon was able to repeatedly skip into debris strewn regions without ramming anything. The Defiant, meanwhile, has transporters, which can only work against unshielded targets, a cloaking device, which requires dropping the shields and disables the use of weapons weapons while it's active, and a few other unique technologies which really don't contribute here, like holographic communications and food replicators. They don't really contribute to power. Finally, tactics. The Falcon is piloted by Han Solo, arguably the best pilot in the galaxy, and that includes Jedi and Sith pilots who have the advantage of precognition to enhance their reflexes. He's also brilliant at improvised tactics, such as when he pretended to go head-to-head -head with a Star Destroyer, only to land on the side of the thing and stay hidden long enough for the Imperials to conclude that somehow his tiny ship had a cloaking device, and he escaped, prompting them to abandon their search. The Defiant, meanwhile, is commanded by Benjamin Sisko, who... He's a competent commander in his own right, but he has repeatedly resorted to war crimes and divine intervention to secure victory, none of which I'm allowing in this comparison, so I'm going to have to actually give tactics to Han Solo and the Falcon. So what does this all mean for the final matchup? Well, it means that unlike what Generation Tech concluded, the Falcon actually takes the win in this matchup. Han would use a combination of fancy flying and guile to get the upper hand and be able to take out the Defiant with repeated concussion missile hits. The Defiant in particular has an oversized warp course, so repeated hits to the big circle on its back would absolutely lead to a core breach and the destruction of the vessel. Sure, the Prophets could intervene and save the day, but I'm not letting them save their precious emissary in this matchup, so against the Falcon, he'd be thoroughly defeated by the scoundrel Han Solo. But what do you all think? Am I forgetting to mention some advantage that the Defiant has over the Falcon, which would totally turn the tide of this fight? Let me know in the comments, and until next time, live long and prosper, and may the Force be with you. I'm just kidding. The Defiant would totally wreck the Falcon in any matchup, even with its shields down. The best the Falcon could hope to do is jump to hyperspace quickly, enough to not die horribly. The Defiant has superior weapons, armor, tactics, and a unique advantages, which would allow them to win by any number of means, other than just, you know, shooting them to death or just grabbing them with a tractor beam, overloading their shields, and then boarding and capturing it. And no, the concussion missiles wouldn't be particularly effective against the Defiant, unlike what Generation Tech concluded. They're conventional warhead missiles, and the Defiant can shrug off hits from photon torpedoes, which, if you don't know, are antimatter warheads and thus are basically nukes. They're super nukes. Even while unshielded, Defiant can handle these hits. And in the mortal words of Miller from Force 10 from Averone, can't expect an enormous volcano with three tiny bags of explosives. Han wouldn't even be able to hide in one of his smuggling holds because a simple tricorder would be able to find him, no problem. I see this kind of comparison all the time, but ultimately what it comes down to is that the comparison may as well be a dude in his fishing boat who carries a revolver and maybe a rocket pro propelled grenade versus a navy destroyer with cannons and a full crew. Sure, the fishing boat may be a little faster and the dude might be pretty crafty and he might get a decent hit in, but he's simply not on the level of a dedicated warship and the warship has armor. So yeah, 
Happy Ape Your Fools, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this. Generation Tech made the matchup close by really, really trying to stretch things, presumably to avoid annoying Star Wars fans too badly, but I have no such reservations. So until next time, once again, live long and prosper, and may the Force be with you.